Hey guys, what's up? My name is Noob, and uh, welcome to this uh, kind of an introductory part to uh, the Art of War Red Tides. Now, um, one of you have asked me to do a beginner's guide to uh, to uh, the Art of War and exactly what you need to know. So, um, I'm gonna start from the beginning uh, the basics so this is the main menu uh, there is two ways you can log on uh, have an account with uh, the art of war you can either use your steam account or the game cpi i'm not sure exactly uh, what account that is i use my steam account um, then you don't have to log in uh, it automatically logs in so then it will bring you to this um uh screen here which is the main screen uh, you have you can click on here this is your profile you can change your name uh, okay uh, I don't want to change my name you have your ID you have your change your icon you can choose from any icon um, there's many countries as well that you can choose from I'm gonna keep my icon uh, then you have your level and your experience uh, to reach the next level now the maximum level now is 100 which I am uh, To reach levels is quite fast and easy. You just have to play games basically then here you have your checkpoint count Which is this blue number here? now the checkpoint count is you can upgrade your units in game you only have well the lower level you are the less points you have i think in the beginning you only have one then you as you level up you know um, level 10 you will get another point level 20 you'll get another point until you reach level 100 which you will have full access to uh 20 uh sorry 10 total points let me see if it gives a description no it does not um, so that's your tech point level and I'll show you that in a game that I'll play now uh, Here you have platinum. Um, this is your rating 1v1 and 3v3 You can see here you have platinum uh, 1 uh, 3 star that means I am platinum 1 rank and I have 3 wins in this uh, 3 stars in this um, if you have platinum 2 you also have stars it starts it's um, you know silver gold uh, platinum then diamond then after that you get supreme commander so uh, current battlefield feats is 118 feats required for star upgrade now if you get a uh, one point uh, if you get a win you get a star automatically but you also for every win uh, or lose that you get you get these battlefield feats now if you get for instance here you have 200 um, if you have silver it is less that you require something like 80 points but uh, I am platinum so I require 200 for the next level so uh, if you lose you also lose a star if you win you you gain a star but here let's say you I I get 200 of this I will get another star so imagine I win now a game and I get 200 feet points. So that means I will get two stars. Two stars instead of just one. Um, let's say I lose a game. But I have 200 feet points. Uh, that means I will not lose a star. It means that uh, I will lose a star for uh, losing. But I will gain a star for having 200 feet points. So it says there no matter win or lose. All commanders can acquire feet according to their performances. Uh, except for runaway commanders. So this is this is what these points are. Here silver you need 90 points for upgrade. Um, you need feet to enable rank uh, protection. Rank protection has been enabled. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that that's your profile that you can see there. Then every day you have daily quests. Uh, you'll have like win two games with Terran in ranked mode. Okay, so that will give you four hundred gold if you do that. Um, you also get free supply drops. It has a cooldown uh, of. I'm not exactly sure. Here's three hours, eight minutes. I think it's every 12 hours you get a, a free supply drop. Um, 
I'll show you exactly what that means. Um, you can see here your level. You can click here to go to see what level. Uh, each level you get at least something like new ruins, units. Uh, I will go through that later on uh, what this is actually is. But you can click on that. Uh, arena here at the top. Arena is a gameplay mode. Now Arena. Um, basically you get to choose from two teams. Okay, then they will unlock all the units for you to pick from from that team, and then you um, they you you pick units. Um, it's pretty much self self explanatory. If you go on arena and you click start, it will give you the rules. It will tell you the rules exactly how this game works. It is only three v three. You don't get one v one in arena, not yet at least. Uh, but that's a good way to make credits. Now you can see here I have. Uh, if you hold your mouse on your coins, you can see you you can only every week you can you can only gain uh, ten thousand uh, gold coins. Now this does not include coins that you get from arena or from achievements. See here at the bottom, uh, you can get achievements as well to get coins. So that doesn't include that. But uh, this is basically for when you win in a game, you will get like a hundred coins. Uh, but there's a limit how much you can do and it refreshes every week. So there's a cap of 10,000. Uh, 10, you can only get 10,000 coins. Now gems is also what you get from uh, achievements. Gems is used to unlock units and purchase uh, uh, purchase thing in the shop. You can acquire gems by completing quests and achievements. So yeah. Then this is currently not available. This will come in probably later on when you will be able to spend real money because this game is free. So when you'll be able to spend real money, they will allow you to buy these swords uh, or whatever that is, battle points, and then you will be able to unlock units as well. Here you have your friends list. I have a billion invites, actually just 38. And uh, you can chat with your friends. Uh, Using this here, you can change your status online, leave, uh, leave, busy, let's say online. Uh, here you can, oh, wait, no, okay, you cannot do anything, you can't search for a specific friend, but here you can chat with them, uh, see uh, any conversations that they might send you, it, there will be a notification. Here's your mail. Now, every time you get a mission or you complete something, it, your mail will pop up and the gold coins will be here. So you click on the mail and you click accept. Here's the settings. Settings is pretty much very general. Also, have a look through the hotkeys here. Hotkeys is great. Um, it's a great way to uh, just be faster in the game. This game do does not need you particularly to, you know, be quick like a strategy game where you have to make split second decisions you know it, it this game is more about building and uh, defending it's a very easy game here you have your uh, megabytes per second uh, latency anyway so if we come down to the bottom here you have your store here you can uh, call in you have ruins but that you can also purchase Ooh, wait uh, anything for me Gold needed? No. Hmm. Shield recharge rate. I'm gonna purchase this. So this means now, here you can purchase every 12 hours or so, the ruins refresh to new ruins. So here you can now go, this you can either spend 40 of these gems or 400 of the gold. Uh, I'm gonna spend, let's spend 40 yeah, it says 400, but it's not actually 400. It's just a little bit of a typo. Here you have range damage. Um, yeah. Okay. So I have now upgraded that. I've bought in. Now I can click here on my ruins, which I can... Uh, it should be here at the moment. Shield recharge. Now I can upgrade it. Now it's level 2. Now the shield recharge rate is 70%. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Shield recharge rate is 70%. Movement speed I can also upgrade. There we go. Now I have a very fast movement speed. Um, yeah. Okay. So let, let's go out. Go to the shop again. Here you can call in. Uh, you can pay these gold coins to call in uh, these supply drops. 
Uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, if you call them in, um, there will be like a uh, cinematic that plays with this thing flying in and then you just click skip and you click on the supply drop and it will give you uh, ruins or blueprints. Now blueprints is what you can, if, if you go to any unit, let's say rifleman, let's click on the information of the stormtrooper, unlock, you can see here it costs money to unlock but you can look underneath the the actual unit and see i have four blueprints out of 60 to unlock this unit if you have full blueprints you don't pay anything but also what makes it good is um normally the stormtrooper will cost uh, three thousand um uh, gold coins but because i have four now it's only 208 uh, 2800 so the more blueprints you have it actually does decrease the gold needed to spend uh, uh, to, to, to purchase this. Let me try and find another example. Um, let's see Arhat. How much do I have? See here I have two. So now it's going to cost only one, uh, 1,680. Instead of 1,700. So um, yeah. That's a way that you can uh, also upgrade units. And get uh, uh, via blueprints. Uh, here you can also then you have units now uh, you have store and units Always go to the store and always check out the ruins always check out the ruins and see skill cost reduction um, gold needed for commander skills uh, You can always Check it out because it will refresh and you it, it might not always be the ruins that you want but always check these out always uh, it's just good practice to get the best ruins possible then you have units units is pretty as uh, simple uh, you can come here click on the units and see what they can do um you know, like the medic the medic heals of course uh, this is the description basically uh, that's what units are but uh yeah i use this just to check out what their skills is but also what you can do is you can go to army setup army setup uh, you can click here uh, Terran okay so there's three armies you have Terran or races Atlak and Jaguar Terran is basically your humans Atlak is basically your Protoss kind of shield guys and then Jaguar is your beasts or your animals uh, each of them have their own playstyle, their own set of abilities, uh, their own builds that you need to uh, uh, unlock and find. Uh, that's why I do these videos, to, to show you some builds and get you guys um, into basically uh, a way of playing with your uh, different kind of races. Uh, you can, these builds you can rename by clicking on here, then you can type la la la. Okay, it will save. Then you click save. Now it it's called that. So let's make go it back. Noob Nation. That's my build. Uh, save. Also, if you take out something, like let's say here. Now I've taken that out. Now I need to put it back uh, how it was. Mysterion. Uh, you have to click save in order for it to save your build. But if you click back, it will prompt you uh do you want to save so l let's oh okay now um basically it didn't ask me because i i pushed i put back the same unit now if i say okay do you want to save the changes made before yes okay you have not uh, set units for mass production do you still want to save yes okay so let me push this unit back um now each race has a sp special ability so if you come here, like let's say Terran, Terran has mass production. Um, basically, if you're going to produce a lot of a specific unit, you want them on mass production with Terran. So let's say I want to produce a lot of commanders, a lot. That means I come here, I click on, oh, I come here, I click on, okay, let's say Asterion, Asterion. Uh, I click on Asterion, that means now I'm going to save 15% of money that i sh would have spent otherwise uh, individual cost normally it costs 2200 but if i build two of them i reduce the price and now i pay only 3700 
So that's what mass production is. Let's take this off. Let's say it's rifleman. Rifleman is 150 uh, money cost for uh, one rifleman. But if I build 10 of them, 10, I will only pay 1,300 instead of 1,500. So I save 200. But let's put it back on the commando and click save. Here you can also say support units, anti-air units, uh, defense units. And uh, yeah, so also what you can do is um, all of these units have different variations. So you can click on rifleman. Then they have three different kind of variations that you can choose from. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that you can only choose one type of rifleman. Let's take these two out. You can still choose them. Like let's say I want the rifleman in. There he is. And I want the sniper in. There he is. You can choose, uh, pick and choose whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to reset that build. And uh, yeah. So each unit have a variation. Now you might w ask what is these. The question marks. Why aren't, aren't there any units there? Basically this game is in pre-alpha. And they have not put any units in. It's slowly they will unlock more and more units. And give you the option to choose them. So just be patient a little bit. And they will have more units coming in. That's for every race. They have these. Okay, these are fully unlocked. Uh, here, there's the question marks. Question marks. Now, the Yaguar, uh, the Atlac, they have transformation. What this means is you can transform one of your units. Let's pick God. You can transform one of your units into any other unit uh, for 20 cost. So, let's say I build 20 guards now. I'm gonna build 20 guards. This means that if I want to swap them to heavy blade slaves, I can do so. And I and uh, I can swap. Let's say I have 20 guards. I want to swap 10 of them into heavy blade slaves. That means I can do that. I can swap, and I'll pay uh, 20 gold for each unit that I swap, which is 200. If I swap only 10, uh, you can come here and you choose what is the best way. Uh, what is the best build then for you? Let's say I stick with this build. That means now I don't need both of them in my in my inventory. I don't need both of them. I can uh, supplement this for a blade slave. I can uh, put in now the the invisible shadow slave. So now instead of having only ten units on the ba on my queue, I actually have twelve because I can swap them at any time. So this is a good way to have more units in your hand, in your deck, uh, for for use. Um, that is what Atlac does. Yaguai, what Yaguai does, they have immolation. Immolation basically means when you sell a unit. Um, normally, when you sell a unit, you only get like 50% of the value back of that unit. Uh, with immolation, you get 90% refunded cost and all research. Ooh, and all research cost all research cost that is a lot of money uh, research cost basically means that the initial money that you spend uh, so let's say okay these guys they have zero research cost let's go on further let's say pandas you want to build a panda a panda costs 900 normally but the research scotch is 350. That means if you want to put one panda on the field, you have to basically unlock them. That's the research cost that you have to pay. So basically you pay 450 plus 900. That's what research cost is. You only pay it once. You don't have to pay it for every time. So emulation means you will refund all of that money. Um, so basically you can build 50 eagles and then you can sell them uh, all of these eagles for 90% refund and then go and build something else. You can have two units on immolation uh, at any time. Uh, so basically the Terran have... Uh, then there is two styles of units. Um, you have mechanical and biological units. Biological units is basically your, your meat. Uh, uh, how to explain it better uh, the smaller units are normally biological the, you can all, all see it here these are biological uh, go on 
pages or biological you can see that they are biological uh, then you have now you have mechanical as well like this motorcycle is a mechanical unit uh, flamethrower is a biological unit this is your detector um, yeah so you can see um, in some instances let me just get like the commando if you go to stats um, the commando does 200% damage to biological units. So normally he does 12 points of damage, but in uh, in this case he will do 40 to biological units. So you also need to think of when you have an army, you need to uh, check what uh, what do they have? Do they have more, more mechanical or more biological units? If they have more mechanical, of course you want to get a mechanical damage dealer uh let's see here let me just see uh no okay so this unit if there is a mechanical unit close to him he will fire rockets instead of his machine gun so that means he, he will deal more damage to mechanical units. So you always want to have an army. If they have more biological units, you want to have more biological damage dealers. That will just double the damage that you push out. It's just the smart thing to do. Um, so always, uh, you need to study what is mechanical, what is biological. That is, uh, that is just part of the game. Here, um, there is only these two. So let's say Arhat. Arhat is a mechanical unit. Um, Yaguai has more biological units than mechanical units, but they still do have mechanical units. It just says mechanical. Of course, spiders are not uh, logically mechanical, but they it says that they are. Then you have units that deal AOE. Here you can see what they can do. Uh, AOE, ground attack only, small unit. Now... Yeah, this unit does AOE ground attack. Um, you can go and see what the units do differently. Um, this unit can do uh, ground and air attack, and it all all has basic descriptions of what the units does here. Uh, you can read the stats. Uh, the story you can't read because it's in Chinese, unfortunately. And tips here: use low level air cannon uh, fodder to cover your senior troops. Powerful attack to single A units fight against senior A troops. So, also another thing that is that I can't see here. Hold on. You can see here if you hold your mouse over over uh, the units. Is that this is the only place that you can see it? You can see uh, the ball. Uh, Biological attack. So this unit has a biological attack. Deals 150 damage to medium units and 125 damage to large units. So this unit you'll you'll have more. T this is a small unit that deals more damage to large and medium units. Uh, let's say wolves. Wolves do nothing. Uh, here, explosive attack. It does 150 damage to small units and medium units. You also need to know the, this to, to best counter uh, these units. Now you can see it in game. It will be there in game for you to actually see. Uh, Chan Master, Biological, Strong Against Biological. Nothing specific. Let's see the Mark Scat. No. So there are these uh, extra damage pointers that you can look at uh, in order to see here. 150% um, damage to... Uh, small units uh, you, you can just get a feel for what is the best unit Th this is just to show you that all the information is here you can click on info you can go through their stats their story their tips uh, what's good for what is not good for uh, see this unit has a activated ability because it says none when it says none it means that you have to press the button and he will uh, use his ability there's no cooldown for it because you can only use it once um, Okay, so this is basically your build setup. Now, if you click on profile, profile is a good place to come and see uh, what your what your stats are. You have on the right, you have your win and l l lose ratio. You can see my lose is getting 
It was a lot today. Uh, I lost a few games, but I also won basically on 50 50. Now, yeah, you, your stats are as well. You can click here to go Terran. You can see your win rate. So, Terran, you can see there my win rate with uh, uh, Terran is 60 uh, for all the games, 58 in ranked match, 65 in quick play. Atlac, I have a 60% win ratio. This is just to show you what is your best team. Uh, Yagua is like 50-50. You can put them all on uh, just to see your win rate. You can also click here to show your win ratio uh, to to uh, to other commanders. Now, uh, that is when you go to leaderboard. This is the leaderboard. You can see your ranking here at the top, 3030. 1v1, my ranking is 13 currently. Um, so you can go here profile and this guy chose to show what his win ratio is his win ra ratio is 74% uh, you can click on stats and you can see what build he's building and his ruins what uh, ruins he has so yeah that that is if you want to show people what your win ratio is or not I choose to leave it off what's the point then you have commander skills um, the lower level you are uh, the less commander skills you have you will unlock them the higher level you get you can see here and read the description on all of them what they do uh, summons a great Vajra to the target location which auto focus buildings targets by default it can divide into four minor Vajras by clicking after 10 seconds uh, it also gives you I've used it 108 times and my win ratio when I use it is 63% Yaguai also you can read all of this now ruins ruins is also very important uh, you are you can have two settings of ruins which you can choose before every match um, and basically you have the red uh, ruins uh, green uh, blue and then your main your core now it's up to you what what style you play you play uh, if you want to find some ways you can look at my videos of styles that if, if you're going to use only ground units you want to mainly focus on getting ground unit buffers if you want to focus air units you can focus on air units um, you can upgrade them of course by purchasing this blueprints that i've shown you at the shop so this is general armor uh, gold acceleration and all of that stuff um, so yeah that that is up to you how you want to build your ruins how uh what is the best ones i cannot tell you which is the best ones because i don't have all of them and uh, also it depends on what you play if you play yagua you want biological killer or you want a melee killer which which is close hand in hand combat uh, achievements i have shown you achievements you can come here and check everything out of what you want to uh, know um i have not played any ai mode so I can unlock all of these gems if I just play a few games in AI with Terran. Uh, play 20 games with friends, all of that stuff. Atlac units unlocked. And then you have also gold units like destroy t uh, 20,000 units with Atlac, 50,000 units with Atlac. Um, yeah, you can come and read here of what the achievements are. So this is just basically how, how to go through all of these stuff. Now... You have uh, versus AI, you can click on versus AI, then you can either choose 3v3 versus AI or 1v1. You can set up a custom game, create game, a noobs game, you can put on 2v2, 3v3. Uh, let's say 3v3, yeah, you can set up a password, create. Then you have here like change team, anyway. You can do that as well. Um, then you have uh, quick play. Quick play is basically uh, it's faster to find a game here. You can 1v1 or 3v3. Uh, you can invite your friends to the games by clicking invite. Uh, you can see, you, well, nearby doesn't work yet. Uh, then you have also ranked. Ranked works the same. You can 1v1 or 3v3. And you can invite players uh, to these slots. Now, if we go into the game, let's find a game quickly, 1v1. Um, 
now you have your setup you have your team ready to go let's just wait for a game normally it's very quick This video will be a little bit long. Okay, there we go. As I want to show you guys everything that there is. Now this guy is playing with Terran. I can see the logo there. He can see that I'm playing with Yaguai. Um, I'm gonna keep it with Yaguai. Then I'm gonna take uh, Mind Control with Monkey Morph. And... Let's take Sacrifice, why not? So here you can choose the ruins that you have set up. Uh, you can see there what it does. Give you more money, give you less money, give you more health. Um, let's keep it on main. Say confirm, ready up. Here you can type messages, but you can only type it for your team. He won't be able to see it. The chat is not enabled yet. So it's not necessary for everyone to produce detector units, but someone has to produce. You want detector units in all your army builds, always. It's one of the units that you absolutely have to have. I am looking um, forward to your performance in this so, battle. to build units, you need to click on this plus button. And here you can see these small units, they don't have research cost. Let me just throw out two. But the more expensive units they have reaches cards. This, this research cards is 550, that one is 650, this is 650. All of them have research costs. Uh, to move the screen, you can either use the arrow keys or you can click and drag. That also will work. Click and drag, right click or left click. It doesn't matter, middle click if you want. Um, it's all up to you. So he's doing snipers. Uh, the object of the game is to, to destroy this final building. You have three towers, uh, a weak one, a little bit stronger, and a very strong that can detect invisible units. So you want to destroy these three turrets and get to this final base. It doesn't matter uh, how you get there, as long as you destroy this final base, then uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, you don't have to destroy these three first. You can find ways to immediately go and destroy his main base. It's not like this place is invulnerable now. Uh, they can be destroyed. So at wave 5 you can upgrade your essence collector. It costs 600. You can see there now it will upgrade. It will show a blue uh, countdown timer. So he's rushing... Uh, He's building a lot of snipers. That's fine with me. I don't mind. Um, so this metal part, there spawns six of these uh, silver uh, supply drop and one big gold one. Now, this if, if you destroy these, they give you 150 essence, like money. Uh, the big gold one in the middle gives you 600. So you can make... If you destroy all of them, you get a, a thousand five hundred. That's what you can get. Um, if you if you, you can see here at the top, there's a map there with all the units. Also, you can see your your bases and your structures are up, and you can see how much units you have and how much units he has. He has seventy five units. I only have two. Then you have the gold here. Gold is used for commander's skills. Um, see, I can use mind control now here. Uh, I'm not going to because I want to mix mind control with monkey morph. Uh, 
Then also what you can do is, I actually forgot about this, uh, but one of the, my friends has uh, informed me that if you want to, you can actually, well, you can close this, but you can also click on it and it will show you exactly what he's building. He's building commanders. So that means I want to get a detector unit uh, just to show, uh, to see his commanders because commanders are invisible units. So you can click here, see how many he's producing. He just produced 17. He can also do the same. He can't see my abilities because he can. you can only see it once he has used it. So this is a good way to see exactly what he's doing and what he's uh, trying to uh, accomplish. So if I want to mind control monkey morph, I need 600 total, which I will just... Um, wait to have um, you can see here you're getting uh, 50 cash per second this is called essence this is your essence collector you can see here my essence collector is level 2 as well as his, uh, his essence collector is also level 2 and uh, it, it's 50 uh, essence every second that you get You generally want to uh, uh, push this up to get um, uh, as much essence uh, as fast as possible. So, okay. So, the tech points that I've talked about before, um, you can see here in the in the corner, tech points available to tech points invested to maximum tech points uh, for this battle six. Huh? Only six. Uh, he means like how much there there are still left. Uh, is six. Next tech point will be available in 38 seconds. Tech points could uh, be obtained in battle with time, but uh, and be invested to upgrade units. So I'm upgrading my units. You can see here I'm upgrading the first point upgraded by four percent health, eight percent health, twelve percent health. Now each unit have different um, uh, tech points upgrade not all of them have health some have damage upgrades some have shield upgrades some have movement speed upgrade uh, it's all it all depends on um, on on the unit okay this guy is not gonna know what's what hit him <laughs> Easy. Uh, so you can go here now. See, this is damage upgrade. I'm gonna use this to damage upgrade. Now all of these units, I'm just building now. You guys can go read what each unit does, uh, and what's the best way to counter it. Uh, here is the waves there are f um, there are 45 waves uh, where you can build and then at the 45th wave but all of the towers gets destroyed and then your armies push against each other um, the one who has the last unit wins well basically the one who has um, if if you have inverse units and I don't have any more detectors my units will just run past your invisible units and start attacking the main base now if your invisible units can destroy my units before I actually uh, destroy your base then that's good because uh, you will win the siege engine does not count as a unit. I can monkey morph these guys again. But I will just wait a little bit. Oh, that's actually a lot. I will monkey morph them now.
That gives me a nice little uh, barrier. Now, this uh, dragon comes at wave 25. If you destroy it, you get 1,500 uh, essence. I don't think I will destroy it. Mm, come on now. Oh, no. Okay, so he destroyed it. He says your dragon Soul spirit stone has been destroyed by mm -hmm. Hahan. Now I upgraded my mine, I'm getting uh, 100 per second. I'm gonna start bringing in the Mark's Cat. Now I need to save it for the last moment. Um, so you can see the wave is going on, it's 33. I want his unit to come a bit closer. Nice. Unstoppable. Don't have the deer, but that's okay. Unfortunately, my inverse detectors is running into this battle head first. There's nothing I can do about it. You cannot. Uh, you cannot control these units, unfortunately. You have a population cap, it shows you at the bottom. Uh, each race has a different population cap. Um, uh, Terran has 60, um, Atlak has 50, and uh, Yaguai has 70. Uh, let me just see. 
Okay, he does not have a nuclear attack. He is bringing in a lot of units. He's bringing in uh, 27 commanders. That's okay with me. I'm starting to create a nice little overlap here. One more wave before the final battle begins. So this is this is the last wave. This is wave. This is wave 70, uh, 45. There we go. Take care of him nicely. Um, so now everything stops. You don't get more in income. You can't build anything. You can't do anything. You can't use any skills because the 45 wave is the last wave. It will continue until 48 and then it will stop. You won't create more units. Um, and uh, so here it will tell you M MVP. Uh, here you will normally level up and get coins, but I am level 100 and you can't do more than that. Here it tells you how many units you've produced, how many gold you had and how many essence you have made. I made 11,000 more than him because he didn't upgrade his mine. You can go on economy, who has more troops, Ooh. skills, MVP, rewards nothing okay so this is basically this is the basics of this game how it works there is no other play style this is for now for for now there is no other play style but hopefully in the future there will be more different kinds of uh, ways to play um, yeah so hopefully this has been a bit more informative guys um, yeah if you have any more questions please drop a comment uh, please subscribe for more videos on what the best builds are but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, keep it real, guys. Bye-bye.